Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to fix up this awful horizon and this awesome panorama I took the other day to make it look like this. So we're going to take this epic, absolutely epic fail of a horizon line I have here and turn it into this. So I've started with this panorama in Lightroom and I just did a photo merge in Lightroom. The reason I love doing my uh, merges in Lightroom now whenever I shoot a panorama is you'll see here Lightroom from my, I think it was about six or seven vertical images I took here with, a, with one of the Fujifilm X-T1. Now you can see it's created a DNG, which is a digital negative. Um, so it's a raw format. So it's taken my raw files and created one big raw file, which is so cool. So it means you have all the dynamic range you would and all the all the detail in the shadows and the highlights like you would. So I would recommend you stitch it together and then you balance up your histogram and get everything pretty sweet in here before you kick over to Photoshop to fix your horizon. So anyway, let's let's jump into Photoshop now. So I'm gonna hit Command E, Control E if you're on Windows and Lightroom's gonna tick along there and kick me over to Photoshop. We need some elevated music. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. I'm on a pimping laptop too, but for some reason these panos, they're just absolutely massive. It just takes heaps of time, heaps of time. All right, so you see, there's where we are. It's terrible, <laughs> terrible. So guys, by the way, I could have avoided this problem. If my tripod had been set up level, I would have avoided this problem. <laughs> you know, so I would say, I'd recommend you do that first, but this is such an epic, epic reflection scene um, at a local beach called Fingal Bay. I want to recover it and I want to fix it. So I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. So guys, the smart guides are really... Really, really handy. They're so cool. So just from the top here around the rule, I can just grab that and drag down. You can see it brings out like a guide. And this area on the right of my image is pretty, pretty straight. So I'm going to drop the guide somewhere around there. And this is going to help me when I do my transform to, to bring the left hand side down so I know what's nice and level. Now if I hit command semicolon or I think it's control semicolon on Windows, um, you can see it turns uh, turns those guides on and off. Now if I wanted to get rid of those guides, I can just uh, make sure I'm on the, the move tool here and I can just grab that guide and flick it away and boom, she's gone. But I'm gonna bring that one back. Oh, and FYI, FYI, you can bring vertical ones too for some reason if you need them. So just uh, just in case you didn't know that. So <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna, I'm a big keyboard shortcut fan. So I'm gonna command T to free transform or you can go up to file, free transform, warp. That's the other thing you can do too. All right, so let's do that. And I'm gonna zoom in because the left-hand side is where, where you know, all the damage has been done where my tripod is obviously has not been level. It's terrible. Every time I look at it, I just go, Johnny, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Anyway, it's all good. We can fix this. We can fix this. We have the power. All right, so I hit the command plus to zoom in there and I've held down the space bar and that gives me my little hand tool and I can move things around. And what I want to do is I'm going to grab this point here and I just want to drag this down. I'm going to drag it down, drag it down, try and keep it relatively straight along the edge because we don't want to warp anything else. And we're on that guide there, but I've got a feeling. Yeah, see, because I was zoomed out so far, I didn't put that guide in a very good place. So I'm just going to drag another one down. I'm actually going to grab my move tool there. Oh, actually, cancel that. I'll just drag another one down. So the second one is actually where where I should have put it. <laughs> All right, then we'll just pull, this, pull this down to the second smart guide there. And... Somewhere there, that's looking pretty good. Let's just make sure that we're pretty lined up there. Now I'm just gonna turn these off quickly. Like I said, command semicolon, turn them off. And I'm gonna grab the move tool, look around, zoom back out a little. And that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna hit the enter key and that'll confirm my free transform. And let's have a look what I've done there. There we go. Oh, much better, look at that. That looks epic. Very cool. But you can, as you can see, there's still a big problem. What about all this bit here? What are we going to do with that? All right, so first off, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to crop this out a bit. So I'm going to go to ratio. I'm going to clear. So I've sort of make my own ratio here. I'm going to bring these in at the ends and because I, I, I don't think it really needs that bit anyway. I like the pano finishes on here. There's a bit of point interest in this bit here. And there's a bit of roof line of buildings there. So or some houses. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm not, I'm not too worried about losing that little bit there. So I'm going to hit the enter key. And as you can see, we are getting there. The horizon's straight, but we've got these silly little areas that oh, we need to content aware for. We just have to. So we'll grab the marquee selection tool here, and I'm going to do a rough selection around here. Doop -doo. I don't know what the music's about, but anyway, there we go. All right, so I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go fill. We want to make sure we're on content aware. I'm going to hit OK. And Command-D. Boom, great job. Oh, content aware fill. You've got to love it. 
All right, I'm going to do the same on this side. Quickly, right click, fill, content aware fill, boom, boom. And boom, there we go. So I'm going to hit the, as you can see, it's done a great job. Check this out. Look at that. Perfect. You will see there's like a fine little line there, but there's actually nothing there. When you zoom in, it's absolutely perfect. So space bar down to the bottom corner. You can have a look. It's perfect. Now, I probably would hang around, do a bit of cleanup, clean up a few of these little bits and pieces here, black dots, things that, you know, take away a few of the little distracting things, I think, that aren't adding to the image. But for time purposes, I'm not going to do that today. So I've fixed the horizon. I've done some content aware fill in the corners. I'm going to hit Command S to save it or Control S. Windows and it's going to kick me back over to Lightroom. And boom, there we go. So we've come from this. To this in just a few seconds and I've saved my epic fail horizon panorama and I think it looks absolutely amazing now I can just do my finishing touches here in Lightroom and it would be all ready to go so there you go I hope you enjoyed that little video guys and uh, just remember uh, crooked horizon in your panoramas are fixable this is Johnny out peace